soon as you exercise, your body creates heat. Only 30% of the energy that we're generating is actually net output. So we're, we're a very inefficient energy system, but that 70% of energy needs to dissipate, otherwise we overheat and, and, and we die. We don't actually measure sweat rate in the device because that's purely done algorithmically. So that's why we integrate with third-party fitness uh, devices because we take the, the heart rate from those devices, yeah. right? Like every athlete in the endurance space at least uses a chest strap or an optical heart rate monitor. So they're all monitoring these biomarkers, which we then use to calculate sweat rate. And then we use hardware for the sodium. And then the two together provide sodium concentration. So how salty your sweat is, so to speak, uh, which fluctuates as well, kind of day to day. Your sodium concentration will change as a function of, again, like the intensity, the duration, the conditions you're, you're exercising in. And then those parameters or those data points help you understand how much you need to initially rehydrate to recover from a session. And then what we do through a lot of machine learning and modeling is we actually build a model of your sweat profile so we can help you understand how much going into a session you might need to drink and throughout a session how much you're going to need to drink to kind of remain hydrated.